give it to Daryl and I'm just going to hand it out. Do you need something? Do I need to ice cream? I need to call this thing. The uh, felony complaint involves nine counts, um, seven counts of 288A in violation of uh, the California Penal Code, commonly known as child molestation, and two counts in violation of Penal Code Section 222 that involves administering an intoxicating liquor to a child for the purpose of committing a felony. Those are the nine counts. In addition to that, there are several special allegations that have been alleged some of which uh, the jury, well, all of which the jury will uh, have before them. Uh, and the findings could make Mr. Jackson ineligible for probation and could substantially affect the amount of time that he could spend incarcerated if the findings are found true. I can uh, tell you right now, categorically, that based upon this complaint that has been filed, that Michael Jackson is unequivocally and absolutely innocent of these charges. I can also tell you that contrary to what was said during that press conference, that the defense does know what the prosecution thinks they have in this case. I can also tell you that beyond any shadow of a doubt, I know that the investigators, or so-called investigators, do not know what we know. How are you doing today? Michael Jackson not only will not flee, Michael Jackson is here ensconced, ready to fight. He is strong. He is defiant as well he should be because he knows and I know that these charges are completely and wholly unfounded. He's not running. He's not hiding. He came back immediately when informed about these charges and he is as irate as I am and everybody else who knows anything about the history of these accusers, anybody who knows anything about the history of the investigators and the axes they have to grind knows that these charges not only are categorically untrue, but they're driven, driven by two things, money and revenge. And we will prove that. Thank you very much.